New at 5 o'clock, we're learning details about a student who was shot on an HISD high school campus. Our Brandon Walker is live at Westbury High School on the southwest side with the newest information. Brandon? Yeah, Bill, no school yesterday because of Yom Kippur, but the school's principal did send a robo-message to parents notifying them about what happened. To be clear, guys, we do know that a gun was discharged. We also know that a student was injured in the process, but other than that, very few details about what happened. Important message for Westbury High School parents and students from Principal Susan Monahan. Carrie Sims played back the message he received yesterday. I need to make you aware of an isolated incident that occurred on our campus after school hours yesterday involving a student who was injured after a gun was discharged. The student received immediate medical attention and is recovering. The message concludes by noting HISD police were investigating. Channel 2's eye caught more officers perched out front today nearing dismissal as parents lined up to pick up their children. Well, they have HISD police on the site, so I would think they could resolve or, you know, take care of them. That's who will, according to the district, but details are vague about what happened after school Tuesday, who had the gun, and the extent of the student's injury. HISD says that's subject to the investigation. Those who didn't know, now curious to say the least. I didn't know. I'm, I'm going to ask my grandson about it to, to see if he knows something. HISD released a statement to us pretty much in line with that robo message that was sent out yesterday, reading in part, quote, the HISD police department is conducting a thorough investigation to gather the facts and we'll have extra patrols at the campus to ensure the safety of our students and staff. As far as that investigation goes, once those facts are made available to us, we will be sure to let you know. Live for you tonight on the southwest side, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you.